Hello and welcome to a very important video. Over the past couple of months, there has been a number of suicides with teens. And the suicides had to deal with being bullied. People feel as if they can't carry on. They can't continue doing what they do, or being who they are. Bullying is something very close to my heart. I've been through it myself, and I've been to the point where I've actually uh, attempted to commit suicide myself. A few years back, I had a friend, I'm not going to reveal their name, but they asked me for help because they thought that they couldn't carry on. And I attempted to give them that help. But unfortunately, the one thing I couldn't do was stop the bullying. I couldn't make them feel like they were accepted in the world. And it hurts, because unfortunately, that friend is no longer with me anymore. Sometimes, the only answer that you can find is to commit suicide, to end it all, and sometimes it is the only answer for these people, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be the only answer, what it should be is a very, very last resort. Sometimes you feel when you're being bullied that even adults will look at you in the same way that bullies do. And it's a difficult thing to understand and a difficult thing to comprehend for those that are outside looking in, so to speak. Bullying is a huge problem. Whether it's cyberbullying or the internet, or whether it's physical bullying or mental bullying. Bullying can take all forms, shapes and sizes. And there can be different reasons for being bullied. It could be the colour of your hair, the way that you look, the way you dress, or the way that you act. But we at the Young Sketchers believe that everyone is equal. We don't discriminate on race, hair colour, eye colour, skin colour. It doesn't make any difference because it's not about the person on the outside. It's about the person on the inside. I was bullied because I had ginger hair, crooked teeth, and I didn't have the most expensive pair of shoes or the most expensive bag or coat. I was bullied because I wasn't the fastest, I wasn't the brightest. And I wasn't the most talented. To know that someone looks upon you and sees you in the way that the bullies do is the toughest thing. I've been out of school for six years and still it hasn't gone away. I don't know if I'll ever forget what those bullies said to me or did to me. I don't know. I hope so, but I send this message out to anyone who's been bullied over the past years or months. You are not alone. There are other people out there who feel just as you do, and there are people that you can talk to. Suicide is not the answer. I was watching a video today that said that for every suicide that actually happens when the person dies there is almost 200 suicide attempts it's a shocking statistic and it's one that we should never ever have to hear so all of you out there whether you are subscribed to the Young Sketchers whether you're on Facebook or whatever if you see someone being bullied 
be that shoulder to cry on because it's the one thing I needed and I never got. It's lucky that I'm still here, but I had a friend who helped me get to where I am today and who enabled me to sit here and speak to you. Without him, I certainly wouldn't be on this earthly plane today. It's difficult. Still, for me, it's a raw subject and it's a raw nerve. But please, remember those that have been lost to this. It doesn't matter what your sexuality is or what your personality is. People should not be bullied for how they feel or who they love, whether you're gay, bisexual or straight. It doesn't matter. It's about you, the person. It's about in here. People should be allowed to be who they want to be. And I keep saying this. We shouldn't have to change for other people. We are who we are. Each one of us is special in some way, shape or form. Some of us may do something special in our lives. I know I have. Some of us may save another person's life. A few years ago, I actually did that. And it got me thinking that maybe everything those bullies had said to me at school was wrong. Because I was the one who actually saved a person. It's difficult to imagine a way through when you're being bullied. And it's difficult to imagine another end. That there is another way out. Talk to someone. To a friend. To a family member, a relative, or even a teacher. People can help. Some people will surprise you. Even the most unlikeliest of people may become the best of heroes. Thank you for watching this video. But I want to end on one comment. As I said before, we are who we are. And none of us should be ashamed of that. Many people will have their faults and flaws. But those people will also have the points that make them special. Beyond anything else. So remember, when you're bullying that person, know how you're making them feel. Because you might just be ruining a life. And you don't want that on your conscience. Please, think about what you say and what you do. Because what you say and do might affect someone's life a hell of a lot more than you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you soon.